Hello, this is Anthony with Copley. Um, today I'll be doing a part two of a Twin Cat tutorial. Please make sure you watch part one to understand um, the setup of the drive. I'll do a quick overview. Um, right now I'm connected to a BE2 over serial. Um, I have 4.76 firmware in the drive. I have to make sure the ESI file version matches that uh, of the firmware uh, version. So I need 4.76. Uh, ESI file, so I'll go to this website, um, embeddedintelligence.com forward slash ESI, and I'll type in 4.76 here, and I'll click the drive that I have, and then I want the slots for TwinCat because it supports MDP protocol, um, and then I download it there. After that, you take the uh, file and you put it in uh, this file location, uh, TwinCat. 3.1 config IO Ethercat and you copy and paste it in here. Make sure it's the only um, ESI file for this drive. So for this piece of hardware, we don't want to have um, you know other ESI files for a BE2. So let's say I had you know copy underscore BE2 underscore 4.40 um, also in here. We wouldn't want that. We want um, each drive to have a unique ESI file version. So, you know, as you upgrade your firmware, um, make sure you're deleting old uh, ESI files in this location. All right, um, after that's done, just uh, click the control panel and cop in the um, uh, CME. And make sure we're in can open over Ethercat mode, COE mode, so that it can be controlled by an uh, Ethercat master. So here, um, I've successfully scanned the network and I found the BE2. If I click on the process data tab and I click on uh, inputs, these are all of the uh, TPDOs. So we have the fixed TPDOs as well as the non fixed. We can select um, which uh, fixed PDOs to use and then we can uh, select you know, up to four. Uh, up to four uh, non-fixed PDOs per drive um, and then uh, each axis would get one uh, uh, fixed PDO so that's that 40 hex offset so um, yeah so let's select a, uh, a non-fixed PDO to edit I click the check mark and then I click yes I click inside of the PDO uh, content I right click insert and then now I can, um, anything, any object uh, that is PDO mappable, I can map. So what is, you know, really the purpose here? We don't want to map things that don't make sense to map. So things that make sense to map would be input pin states that we need to monitor, um, you know, we need to monitor very closely. Uh, things that we don't want to put in here are things that you know, objects that we only want to set once. Uh, so like, so like uh, this object, for example, the home offset, you, you know, this is more of a setting that you only want to set once. So you'd use an SDO for that, not a PDO. So I'll show you how to do that. But um, here, <clears throat> uh, let's just map uh, the general purpose inputs. So that object is uh, 2190. So if I go over here and I scroll to that object, I double click on it, I say yes. Now we see that it's mapped to this uh, PDO and I can see the input pin states here uh, being updated. So yeah, that's how you would edit a, uh, uh, any PDO. So um, this for uh, that was for the uh, TPDOs. If you wanted to edit the RPDOs, which are the commands to the drive, then you would um, you would click the outputs um, row here. Uh, yeah, uh, please watch the video that I uh, made on our on our channel for um, just the Copley uh, PDO structure to get a better understanding of fixed versus non-fixed. Um, okay, now for um, SDOs, 
So if you click the uh, COE online tab, it'll show you all the parameters in the drive and their values. Um, so uh, let's wait a little bit for it to uh, catch up to us here. Okay, so here are all the parameters and their values. So if I go, right now I'm connected over serial just for monitoring uh, purposes. Uh, access A, I'm going to click on the Home tab. Here we can see uh, some parameters. So homing offset that I was showing you earlier, this parameter, right now it's zero. So if I want to edit that with an SDO, I would just go to uh, this right here, 607C. I double click. And I'll, let's make it 100. Click OK. Now it's 100. So, yeah, now TwinCat set it to 100. Let's say that, um, you know, I just want to do this once on startup. Then I would just say, okay, add it to the startup list. Uh, yeah, when so this is the EtherCAT state machine. Send this SDO on the transition from pre-op to safe op. So, yeah, you can say, okay, I want to add that to the startup list, this SDO that I just made. So now I go to startup. So this, these are all the SDOs for the PDO mapping. And then this is the one that I just added. So you can edit your own uh, list, your SDO list on startup um, using TwinCat. Uh, and so when you do this, just uh, when you edit a PDO or add an SDO to the startup list, just click the reload devices button to activate the configuration. Great. All right, well that was how you would edit um, PDOs and create an STO initialization sequence on startup. I hope this video was helpful and uh, like and subscribe to Copy Control's YouTube page.